Okay guys, um, I've done a lot of adjusting. Um, I find that I adjust here, down and up to make sure the drive wheels get good contact with this bar. And in the rear, I adjust up and down to make sure that the platen rides well. It's a game, you gotta play with all the springs, you know, keep it in check. But you gotta play till they're both, you know, really well aligned. You know, this is the game. I've designed mine so I'm spinning it backwards now. So I can push the platen beyond it to give it a rest state. Pull it just a little bit further, and you've got it. And there it is. I'm I'm spinning this by hand. As you see it moves very good. In and out. Very true traction. Now, if you see, I've got it here so it just falls off slightly, so it slips. So if the printer starts going crazy or something, I'm not going to wear out my rod. I'm not going to wear out my engine. It's just going to sit here and just spin. It will catch it if it wants to come back. And it'll go to the other end and do the same. It'll just go right off the end and leave it. I don't know if that was a smart thing to do, but what I figure I'll do is I'll put stops at the back if that becomes a problem. Um, somebody's probably laughing at me right now saying you made a mistake. I don't know. We're going to see. I think I might have done something well, but we'll see. And that's where we're at now. I've got it. So if you give it that final push, boop, it locks it back. And that's just a matter of the actual drawer slides work that way more than anything I've done. So there's the whole mechanism in a nutshell. I think it's pretty good. It runs good. It doesn't slip. Um, it doesn't have a lot of, um, drag on it so that's good so I think it's going to be a decent little drag system I get my motor mounted over here and see if I did a good job or not and that's what I'm gonna do for the night uh, it's been a long one so I'll get these videos up soon and y'all can start watching them bye